It's Friday, February 10th, 2012. Thanks for tuning in. This is the 4-4 Show on CNET TV. I'm Jeff Bagelar. I'm Wilson Tang. I'm Justin Yu. This is the show where we're trapped in a cube. Yes, we are. And we, we actually can... are trapped in a cube. <laughs> yeah, we are. Studio is a cube. Oh, my God. That's my life. Yeah. <laughs> and to compliment our cube is Sphere himself. Yes, Sphere I am. The gut man, Sphere Guttenberg. <laughs> a lot of geometry on today's show. This yeah. cube yeah. is padded. You could, like, bang your head against the wall. It it's hurt. an asylum. Yeah. That's yeah. what it is, yeah. actually. Did you scream when they hear it outside? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they will, actually. This is not one of those soundproofing things. It's actually, if we do happen to bang our heads against the wall, we're protected. Yeah. <laughs> we can't sue CBS. That's why it's here. Well, that's good. Thanks for coming in, man. It's been a, uh, been a little bit, yeah. right? I Since before, here, uh, uh, just before uh, CES. Yeah, how mm-hmm. about that? You running for president again anytime soon? Uh, 2016. 2016. All right. Yeah. Well, you'd be better this, than the slate of you people know, going. Clear out this time. You know? Yeah, let's let <laughs> let's let the chips fall where they may. And Although then, you know, it's pretty crazy. I it think is I, pretty I think crazy. I fit right Ooh. in. I think <laughs> you <laughs> between Ron I think, Paul and uh, the guy. Yeah. That, I think you got a better chance than Romney or uh, Santorum <laughs> over here, man. Sounds good I'd to me. I'd vote for you over the two. Yeah. All right. I would definitely vote for you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sphere 2016. You know, I was the regular man candidate. Were you? The regular really? guy candidate. That was my, my pitch. So okay. you were independent. Yeah. yeah. You registered yeah. that you yeah. ran an independent party? I or there was like I, had, a, I had people. I had a, one delegate at the Democratic Convention. Oh. I no did. way. Yes, I did. Huh. Don't and they, they like were, symbolically all change their vote at the very end? Like they to, can do whatever they want. They're oh. not bound. I think the, for the first vote, which hasn't happened in ages, they have to stay with their assigned mm-hmm. thing. But if for some reason it was close, then it's a free for all. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! I didn't know that. But it, yeah. you know, that hasn't happened in like fifty years. All right. Did you have a slogan for your campaign? Was it like <laughs> yeah, the it volume like, is too damn high? <laughs> <or> <laughs> yeah. Like, what, what was protect your ears? No, protect your ears. The, <laughs> I was the regular guy. I was there to represent like the average Joe. Okay. Yeah. Right. The average, the Steve. everyman, the proletariat, the sphere. Yeah. You yeah. were the original, like Joe the plumber, was a right? Like the... So I was. Uh, you were a wait, communist. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was actually a registered communist. Right? Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> Anyone? I'm. I'm total... documenting all of this. I mean, not only that, but I am not surprised at <laughs> all. Well, I'm Joe McCarthy. I had a girlfriend. Right and, yeah. you know. and what? That turned you into a commie? Well, she was. <laughs> she so. was Russian. She was a communist. <laughs> yeah. How did this happen, Steve? Because she had, you know, weird old pa- parents and stuff. Yeah. And, you know. Okay. Oh, well, were, I have parents, were, but that I and mean, they were communists, and, and mm, somehow this okay. resulted were, in you becoming a communist. Well, you know, I don't. Guys know. do what they. Ah. <laughs> you do what we you all got do. it at the same time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. You got to do what you got to do. Steve to did it for other reasons. <laughs> right. Hungry. Hungry. Yeah. Can't blame you. But you, you know, dude. later on, I had much. You know, ten years later, I had this girlfriend who was also a, another different girlfriend that was a communist. Yeah. And she was a junior high school teacher. Yeah. Uh-huh. And she was indoctrinating her students. No way. Oh, what? You did it two separate communists? Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> Was that because you were already a communist shave. and you were looking? They don't shave yeah. anything? Oh, hey, no! What are, you, what are we talking <laughs> about here? Okay, all right. This is weird. I, I mean, three it minutes... It got to a weird... I don't yeah, know what yeah, happened. Right. Three minutes into the show, <laughs> I did not expect us to be where we currently are. I'm not going to lie. Do you queue. switch parties when you queue. date different people? Is that what happened? Pretty much. He's a yeah. flip-flopper. Really? That's what you are. <laughs> she had a beard. This is like no, a bearded not communist? Kind of okay. Not that kind of You're a damn flip-flopper. All right, Steve, you wanted to talk about watches because we talked about watches well, yeah, yesterday. Well, yeah, because I heard you talking about watches, and I was shocked oh, yeah. that mm. you guys yeah. have, wear, wear yeah. watches. And I'm thinking, but I don't wear a watch. I mean, I never wore a watch because I, well, I almost never did because I used to use a pocket watch. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, yeah. you, you I know. hated it having having it on my wrist. Right. I'm the so, same way. I, j- I just don't like having something on my wrist. I don't wear a ring. I don't have a wet, I'm married. I don't have a wedding ring. I what? don't. I don't want to be encumbered. You don't want any accessories at yeah. all. But you, you got glasses on your face. To... I know well, you need that to see. I don't think that's by choice. Yeah, yeah but what <laughs> about the contacts? I used to... I told you about that. I used even to make worse. contact You used to make stuff. contact Wait, lenses. what? <laughs> In your <laughs> laboratory? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I'm a contact... I, well, I am. I was a contact lens technician. I used to oh, grind okay. contact lenses. Oh, okay. Not in, like, your basement. This is a no, this is a job. professional wooden okay. contact lenses. <laughs> <in your basement>. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you manufactured contact lenses? I manufactured. Lenses? I handmade because in those days you made them by hand. Hand well, and they cut were, them on a lathe, polished them by hand. And they were, were they glass? And they were actual yeah, glass. They were glass. <laughs> well, no, they were really? plastic. They were plastic. <laughs> glass. I got Wilson. I got Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just. I just. I can't, I'm so blown away. What? By, like, you learn like, something every yeah. time he's on this show. Why yeah. is this coming as a shock to you? Okay, so it goes from being like the reason why I'm like even like. Thinking to myself, like this is even remotely pl- plausible. Yeah, they could be made out of glass. Plausible. 
Is that like you go from a communist to what? Like, you, you, and then you make a contact. Right, in your you're a projectionist. Like, <laughs> you ran for president. Yeah, you, your life is. There's a lot of pretty yeah. interesting. Yeah. This is why we have Steve on. Yeah. yeah, because he's an amazing wealth of just random nonsense. But yeah. that's good I, nonsense. I work for this incredibly bizarre man. Yeah. Who, who had this thing in the '60s of ma- inventing contact lenses that changed the color of your eyes? Okay. I mean, other people had. Than that sense, right. but he was like one of the first people to do that. To do that, yeah. And he, you know, we had to make plastic and grind it into these things. It sure, was, it was really amazing. It sounds wow. amazing. See, I thought like machines did that. Like, or is now it, they you do. were the guy now that presses the button, or what? No, no, he I, was no, grinding I was them, grinding them, and polishing them. Yeah. D- but duh. The plastic. I mean, Plastic. All right, yeah. All right we're getting we're off track here. So like, we started yeah. talking about watches, and the reason why we brought this up <laughs> so was because yes, God, we always get so <laughs> so sidetracked. Watches. It's, it's Friday. Steve sidetrack Guttenberg. When you mix, when you have a little bit of Friday and you yeah. sprinkle Steve in it, it's all crazy. <laughs> it blows my mind. <laughs> Someone needs to make a graph of our conversation. <laughs> oh, we're called it tangential. Forget yeah. it. It's great. So we were talking about how, um, you know, a lot of. I was he, shocked that you guys are using right. watches because as soon as I could, mm-hmm. I. You know, I use my well, phone. Well, you don't wear watches now, but would you if it could I, do more than tell time? Like we were talking about smart watches yesterday, else? tracking your biometrics and, oh. um, you know, seeing how your heart is. My metrics need tracking. I don't no? think so. No. Okay. You have good metrics. My your government. metrics don't need tracking. <laughs> well said. You don't want the government tracking you. Is that what it yeah. is? Yeah. I but don't blame him. I turn off my phone a lot of the time either. Mm. You do? Uh, yeah. See, not, not sure I'm on board with that. What do you have to hide? I don't want people to know. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, uh, bad not to not to following not me. to relate you to my father, Sweet Lou, but he's got this thing where he turns his phone off. Mm, my mom uh-huh. does. To that me, too. hmm, that defeats the purpose of having a phone. I think. I right. mean, when people are trying to get in touch with you, unless you just well, don't I don't want to be touched. I understand that, but you realize <laughs> if it's an emergency. Yeah, my know. mom will they keep the wait. phone on, but then have it outside of her room where she right, sleeps, yeah. which doesn't make sense either because <laughs> well, you can't hear it anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, mm, I do that too. You know, actually, it, yeah. in one of the seasons of Mad Men, he okay. goes to California. Yeah. And when he's in California, they didn't have cell phones, and people just didn't call each other that much. He, mm. They were in New York, he's in California, and they don't. Just and, but never nothing came got up. done. I mean, nothing gets done now, well, but oh, I th- at least. We don't have any excuses now. <laughs> All work was done in pay phones. After. Right. Exactly. <laughs> That's no, why I, I had like a little that. desk. I like that idea that he's there and, and they're here and he's just completely out of touch. Mm-hmm. Like, he'll get, you know, let you know how it's going when he feels like it. Right. I For emergencies. Great. Though. Yeah. You ever see someone in, like using being, like a pay uh, phone yeah. these days? Yeah. You, you ever <sighs> just like. What a great thing. wonder what's going on. Yeah. yeah. Like, I wonder what happened. <laughs> why Maybe they were. Uh, well, you know, I mean, like they, none of them look like reputable. You know, like well, I, I, when you when you see someone no using, yeah, they uh, just it's just like, uh, yeah. what are you doing, sir? Why yeah. why do you need a payphone? Well, you I can't even imagine you to. like ever like if you were in a life and death situation, I can't imagine you <laughs> ever picking up a payphone just because like you're so germs. Yeah, like germs. the germs. Oh. And, like, well, the, no, life and death, I'd probably okay. pick it up and yeah. you know. I would probably <laughs> ask to borrow somebody else's cell phone first, <laughs> yeah, before using a payphone. Of course. Has anyone ever come to you and asked yes. you to use your mobile phone? Yes, never. Never. No, don't have one. Is that a bad thing? Um, why, why it's just incredibly bad? shit. I just run the risk of someone grabbing it and yeah. running well, away. Well, you know, like you get in that position that. where you're like, all right, I'm I'm gonna see if I could have to take off. Or right. Run after like, this I guy. will trip you if you try to run away. Right <laughs> yeah, it's it's something oh. that. Uh, and Steve's like, I lend it out all the time. I, I, no, I never have, but I always wondered if someone asked me if I would do it. And now you're mm. telling me that's not a smart thing to do. Well, it, it's just a very personal item that is very what uh, portable. You know, was in distress and like, hey, I need to get in touch I, with my. I'm sorry, but you stand over there. Let me make the call for you. Yeah. I'll be like, who do you have to call? I yeah. will try. I will be the, you know, right. the, the middleman here. Oh, especially with phones being so expensive these days, yeah. it's not like a, you know, fifty dollar burner phone. Yeah. yeah, he's not okay. asking for, you know, a cigarette. Well, or this something. actually brings up something I, I was going to unveil. Okay. This is a show of unveiling. Ooh, exciting! You ready? Yeah. So, I may be ready. I may be ready. For. For. An iPhone. No, <laughs> Steve the Gutman with an iPhone. I'm starting it just to feel this real. pressure, partially because of the re- reviewing and stuff. That if I had a phone, mm-hmm. that you know, some things need apps. And, right now, you know, now you know that once the iPhone gets turned on, you can't turn it off. There's yeah. no <laughs> way to turn it it's off. To turn <laughs> so if you're into that whole feature, now, you might not I'm like the iPhone. Rethink. Now, <laughs> rethinking. now, forgive me, and we bring this up every now and then. We know your eyesight isn't the best, right? And I'm concerned about. I'm that. concerned about that too. How are you, you going to see the damn thing? thing? No, there's I don't. No it's, it's a small bigger? screen. It's yeah. a computer. Well, here, take a look. I have my iPhone. They can make it bigger, right? They can make the text bigger. High contrast mode and some accessibility. All right, let's watch Steve. Look how close you are to that phone. Camera shot there. 
make these things smaller? I mean, uh, you can't make them bigger. Them? No, all the, there like, should be there's accessibility. A high, there's accessibility mode where you can zoom into yeah. icons and stuff. And so this is can. really good for blind people. Like, it, there's a um, it, really? it'll t it'll tell you what you're tapping on. Oh, really? like oh okay. Yeah, like oh, a voiceover well, function. That's very nice. I know OSX yeah. does that. I think that I think it will be okay. You should. Get I think you'll be right. You might only be able to fit you know two apps on a screen, but that's fine. How many apps do I need? As many as your little heart desires, sir. There's a bunch of music apps coming. I'm not guy. You're not. You because you do that thing that does like um. Real time analysis of like you know what do they call it an RTA or an RTA you know, it's like, like a, a thing of like it displays the frequency response oh sure the, right oh, yeah the gauges the spectrum analyzer yeah, yeah spectrum yeah. analyzer yeah, that'd be that'd cool be good, <laughs> that's know, all you need noise pressure level you know sound there pressure are apps level, like that things there like are that. Yeah. yeah yeah you'll you'll dig that so I'll, I'll, I'll do those I'm excited and the Moog synthesizer that I blogged about a couple of weeks right mm. I like that. making music on yeah. He has yeah. Garage Band for the iPhone. Oh. You, sorry, if you want to write a song, I'm already addicted. <laughs> <laughs> so when's the big day? Because I, I, I cannot know. wait I to, to I see this. To think. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you're a headphone editor. Would you yeah. be using the iPhone as a music player? Because I yeah, think it sounds well, pretty good that's, for it, in I'm terms of digital music. I'm kind of curious if it sounds as good as my iPod Classic. Mm -hmm. I think All right. that's mm. yet to be determined. I, I've heard, I've seen comments where they they use a slightly lower, um, There's more uh, stuff lower quality going on in DAC, there. right? Yeah. Like a digital analog yeah. converter, but. Um, I mean, it, it, unless you're, I, I feel like unless you're running wh white noise and you've got like a spectrum analyzer going, mm -hmm. comparing the frequency responses, like it, you, you couldn't tell. Hmm. I'm about to find out. We're, we're all going to find uh, out. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Speaking of headphones, though, um, you sent us an email with a couple of headphones that you wanted to talk yes, about yes, that yes, are yes. the so noise isolation. I'm going to be an investigative reporter mm. <laughs> from CNET. Ooh, really? You ready? Good. How, where, what are you investigating? I'm like, I, I was going to say I'm a cub reporter. I'm, what's a the cub? opposite of a cub? I'm a... a gumshoe. <laughs> <laughs> You're a gumshoe. Yeah. Because I'm going to compare the, the most famous noise-canceling headphone, the Bose, yeah. right, to a bunch of in-ear headphones. Okay. okay. So here's the Bose. We have them on screen right now. These are the Quiet Comfort 15s. Right. Mm -hmm. um, these are the ones that you see everybody wearing on the airplane, and they're actually they're active. So they have a battery power, yeah, and then they take out the middle no frequency. No battery, no sound. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So David Carnoy let me his. Yeah. And I went on the subway yesterday, and I went on buses yesterday, and compared that, just the noise cancel. I wasn't listening to music on them. Mm -hmm. Right. Compared to three different in-ear headphones that Justin's going to show you. Mm -hmm. an, uh, a West Tone. Okay. The S5, which is a, a custom-molded in-ear. These orange ones here. The orange ones. Okay. And those are, Okay. <coughs> And then the one in the center are these. These are um, Velodyne sort of universal fit ones. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the one on the left is the Etymotic uh, in-ear. Now, the Etymotic has a really big, deep flange. You have to stick it in your ear really that, far. Those right. look like they these go pretty deep. They go really ones. deep. Yeah. Not super comfortable. Is that but safe? It, it looks like it's up against your eardrum. Like, well, that's what yeah, it's not. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, your eardrum's pretty far it's, in there. It's far in. Yeah. But, but, than but, you they, think. but they still look a little too intrusive. <laughs> they're, they're, they're not the most comfortable headphones yeah, you, can, you can buy. I feel like when I but if I ripped it out too quick, something else would go with it. Your eardrum would... <laughs> my brain would just <laughs> suck out of my ear. <laughs> but anyway, they did uh, the 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 oratone. Yeah. I'm sorry. The etymotic on the on the left. Yeah. And the west tone on the right were had pretty much equal noise uh, isolating ability as the Bose. Okay. And they don't have batteries, mm -hmm. and they also sound a lot better. Right. So that's sort of what this piece is going to be about. All right, cool. I'm the excited other, to read that. The, the other thing that's interesting, though, is that listening to these headphones in a quiet room, mm. they sound completely different than mm -hmm. they do on the subway or a bus or out in the world. Uh, what do you mean by that? Because there's so much noise out there, even noise canceling mm -hmm. or noise isolating. There's a lot of noise that gets through anyway. Sure. Mm -hmm. So that noise is masking certain parts of the music uh, because right. it's louder than. So the, are, are you saying like, should you use noise canceling in a quiet, you know, room, or should you turn I'm off saying, that feature? No, you, yeah, you definitely turn it off. Okay. Mm -hmm. We were All talking right. about this bef well, uh, before the show, and mm -hmm. I think the most crucial thing for noise cancellation isn't. I mean, the biggest difference between the earbuds and the over ears, obviously, is like the seal, uh -huh. right? And that's why with the custom earbuds, mm -hmm. you have a perfect seal because. Molded to mm -hmm. your ears, Molded but you can also achieve a really good fit with a proper seal on a headphone. It's mm -hmm. just a matter of finding the right size and the type of flange yeah, it's that'll tough. work best for you. It's tough. I struggle with that. Yeah, like these ear tips right here on the left hand side, the conical shaped ones. Those are a little bit uncomfortable yeah. for me. Right. I prefer the foam ones because you could squeeze them, put them in your ear, right. and then it'll expand to mm -hmm. fit true. your eardrum mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. so it's just a matter of like playing around what's with uh -huh. the sizes and right. material. Yeah. So, but anyway, so what I learned is is that the the Bose is what it's cracked up to be. It really does 
uh, noise canceling. Although I, I, that term kind of bugs me because it's not canceling noise; it's yeah. reducing. Right, noise, noise reduction. No, canceling implies that the noise is completely gone. Right, even right. If it was canceled. That's it's misinformation. Canceled. And it comes with uh, sacrifice in audio. Sense. Yes, and right. it doesn't. And and the Bose was definitely not as good sounding. Right. As the as the Atomonic. We, we, we the uh, mentioned price. this before. Uh, was anybody like spotting you while you're walking around the street with like these noise canceling headphones? Like, you know, I was going to get jumped or something. Well, no, no. I mean, like, uh, which is not people. hear the bus <laughs> that's coming. Yeah, like or the car that's about to hit you, that yeah. kind of thing. Uh, it's dangerous. I, yeah. I survived. He did. Yeah. Lives to fight I, another day. I, 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 that really I is an issue. To the like there have been numerous articles written, especially living in New York City, yeah. walking around the street with noise canceling headphones. Isn't that safe? It, it is. Right. It is kind of freaky. Well, I wasn't walking around. I was mostly on the. Manhattan side. is the has the most pedestrian vehicle accidents in the in the country. I know oh, really? that. I, yeah. I do How know about that. pedestrian bicycle accidents? Yeah. I'm uh, sure it's all uh, got to be there, too. I'm really afraid of getting hit by a bicycle. Because <laughs> <that, laughs> you want to know why? Because you know you're not going to die from that. Em. You're just right. going to get really hurt. It's right. just going to hurt Well, I'm not going to hear it. Yeah. yeah. And when I look in their direction, they think I can see them, but yeah. I can't. Well, some of them, right, because, and, you know. And, uh, you know. Well, some of them are big a-holes because they go, again, like, the wrong way with traffic. <laughs> You know, what? like I had one guy come in. I'm looking down. Oh, it's yeah. all the food delivery Manhattan, guys. Manhattan's mostly one way streets, right? Right. right? So I'm looking down the way cars are supposed to go and up. Mm. There's not a car coming. Yeah. And I step on and then bam, bam. one of these a-holes comes out from the well, wrong and way. And he yells at you. And he's yeah. like, what? He's like, what's out? I'm like, you know, drive down a sewer shaft. Well, or when something. you were five years old, I'm sure somebody <laughs> told you to look both ways, not just into the way that traffic rides, right? right. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah. You anyway, should look both ways. Getting back to headphones. But he's wrong, and I'm right. God, enough with the cyclist hate. <laughs> oh, it's not cyclist hate. You know how many people get killed by cars every single day? Zero. Probably a lot more than cyclists. <laughs> All right, so with the noise-canceling stuff, I yes, feel like yes. if you're walking around, maybe the Bose over ears would be better because those only cancel out the lower frequencies, right? Like, you can yeah, still hear people talking good. beyond Oh, you here. can hear, but no, it's pretty pretty isolated. Yeah. Hmm. No, I wouldn't be walking around that. Yeah. I, I, I walk around with my custom earbuds, too. I have the UE18 from uh -huh. Ultimate Ears, uh -huh. and I can't hear anything. Oh, yeah. I just take one out if I'm walking around. Oh, how could you do that to yourself? Yeah. That's so awkward, listening out? to music in one ear. I hate well, that. Well, I don't want to get... Cream. I understand, yeah. but it's worth it. Certain <laughs> companies make uh, stereo, m like single earbuds, though, that you can Wait, only what? Wear, yeah. right? what? Have you ever purpose, played around though? with those? Yeah, what is the purpose of that? Because a stereo mono. Oh, I don't know that it's stereo. Well, it takes the two channels and puts it in it's one, one ear. Isn't that right. mono? Yeah, yeah, I guess it's mo yeah, ears mono in one ear. Ultimate ears does. Yeah. Huh. What, what is the application of that? I think it's for musicians. Oh, okay. Mm. Um, what else do you got in your little chicken scratch So, there? you know. <laughs> They was, uh, what's his name? Uh, Greg uh, did a post on Sandoval. Together, yeah. Mm. Okay. About the Paul McCartney pulling his music off Spotify. Yeah. Oh, a lot yeah. of bands are doing this actually. Yeah. Because yeah, they're uh, they're Adele only getting uh, a couple of cents yeah, like every not time. Not a couple of cents. Like fractions. Point fractions two of pennies. Cents that sucks. Play. So so what so, do you have to say about Paul? So uh, well, he just said that Paul Paul was doing it, and you know, but I'm just amazed that people get so bent out of shape about this yeah that, like how dare he mm. you know i should have a right to hear to hear anybody's music on on spotify or right or mm -hmm. something it's like well it's his music yeah. mm -hmm. That's what if he really doesn't want to participate yeah you know you, you don't have a right to it of course yeah but it just brings this out in people that you know I don't know. Maybe it's because like uh, we we ourselves are content creators. Like I don't see anything wrong with that. But like I do hear that from people who don't make right. You know, they make want stuff media. For free. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and well, it's being promoted. Yeah. That's right. their excuses. Yeah. It's more. I, I might buy it. Mm -hmm. Right. But you know, somebody gave me a great line a couple of months ago where they said buying music, paying for music is a purely voluntary act. It is. And most people, like eighty or ninety percent of people, don't. Buy I. Music. I don't know. How, how can These we know These days, that? especially. These days. But we don't know that for sure. No I have you guys on recording saying that you guys don't buy music. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, I, first off, I rent music. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You rent you it? Rent it I from rent, the internet. I Payment borrow due music. Later. I due borrow <laughs> music. I'm going to give it back. <laughs> All right. I'm, on this your is an extended bed. loan. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but no, I think a lot of dude. Look at iTunes, man. iTunes kills it. A lot but there's of no recorded way to tell who's downloading. There's no, there's music no, there's no way to know. Right. There's no right. way to know. So well, we have gotta yeah. think the best and give humanity the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> wow! No. Look at Jeff saying that. <laughs> no, no. But I, I would have never thought those right words. Now. I'm just saying yeah. that I know people. I I know uh, out of my friends, I would say the majority of my friends do buy music. They do. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. You Just are so yeah. full. Of it. Why would I make that up? What do I have to gain by making that All up? All right, I believe you. You, know? you have you have respectful friends. But on the other hand, Paul was uh, premiering his new record last night. Yeah, uh -huh. he did a live concert at Capitol Records in in L.A. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. 
It's he's got to give it up. You think he's done? He's too really? old, man. Yeah. He can't sing. Yeah, really? You don't I, think he, he can sing? No, he can't sing. I, I, didn't he? He had a new record, uh, but like two or three years ago, yeah. right? Like that was. I mean, it was different. Good tunes on it. It's a different. Yeah. He doesn't even write the tunes. Yeah, these really? are all American classic standards. Oh, he's stuff. at that age where he's just like he's redoing just other people. He's got enough. He should. Yeah. You know what he should do? The John Lennon songbook. So <laughs> that'd be funny. He ran out. It was just gone. So you bring the songbook. So you bring that up. Obviously, Paul's from your generation. Yes. Right, you're, and I say, you know, you're younger than him, right? I'm younger than him. Mm-hmm. So you asked us earlier, uh, think of an artist that would maybe try and oh, yeah, pull yeah. this kind of crap when we turn your age. Yes, um, far, 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 far in the future. Well, yeah, I'd say you're about twice our age, twice, give or take. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I don't know. Who would do you, that be who Justin do you, Bieber? No, be come on, he's Bieber he's not going to be around much yeah. longer. Oh, who's that chick that like everybody is hating? Lana on? Del Rey. Oh. I wanted to bring who's this that? up with you, Steve. So Lana Del Rey is a singer songwriter. Yeah. She was on SNL and got reamed for it right afterward because apparently her performance wasn't very oh, I exciting. I didn't see it, but I, I think she's okay. Yeah, okay. She's so got, wait, she got, got reamed because of her bad performance. Yeah, is it pe- one of those? Uh, people were saying that she's one. It was one of the worst performances. It wasn't lip synced. It was just very dry and unexciting. Well, does her music suck or? How does I like it, her music. Yeah? It's good. It's yeah. kind of got like um, kind of like a Kate Bush ish. But like people are making vibe. you know are also ragging on her just because like she's changed her sound. She went from like a like kind of a poppy thing right. into like a. A uh, raspy, you know, s- s- more sultry kind of uh, sound, okay. yeah. and no they're saying that she's like is. manufactured, and like that. But that's yeah, the point so. for all right. pop artists, <laughs> right? So yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, yeah, like when Lady Gaga whips out like a Virgin Mobile phone, that's <laughs> right. not because she's like, oh, I love this phone, because she'd be paid two million dollars to do it. No, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, and don't forget that Lana Del Rey, I think, is the least of SNL's music issues, right? I'm, oof. What, what other? What is? What does that show exist? Talk about being old. It's not. The show's not very yeah. good. Um, when was they had funny? like Kesha uh, perform on SNL. I don't I think the standard is very high. I don't understand how they're picking on her. Yeah, of exactly. All people. That's what I'm saying. Music, popular music, yeah, pop culture music today bit. is just god awful, oh, and you're pointing a girl, you're pointing the finger right. at this. This person? We don't yeah. need to play. It's not her fault. What's so special about? But anyway, but pick people that you like. Yeah, I'm trying to think who me, who would be in Paul's position. Ra- no, no, not that they'll be in Paul's position. But, but doing that, what he did. Thing. No, no, not even that. That you would be listening to their music yeah. over the over the coming decades. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That these people would continue to be, you know, making music Oof. that you would care about mm. in 10 years, in 20 years, in 30 years, in 40 years. That's who who among the question. people that you listen to could you imagine? I don't know. Because, you know, I like, keep, grunge doesn't fit really work. Why do you for, keep using well, the word grunge? grunge? That's like from 1992. Just yeah, like, I'm just saying, like, like that music? kind of, uh, you That's know, 20 genre years old. doesn't work necessarily when you're, like, 60. So I don't I'm, know yeah. about that. Because Steve listens Looking to Neil some Young pretty heavy around. stuff, right. man. Yeah, yeah. Well, but someone he performing the same thing. But is a Steve different. listens to pretty heavy stuff still. Mm-hmm. He's still yeah. very much into no, that heavy rock. I also feel like a lot of music now has a throwback vibe, and they're trying to replicate bands that they were inspired yeah. from, whereas mm-hmm. with Paul McCartney, he was a original creator. Right? Yeah. Right. So I maybe that's why they don't have the legs. I don't know, Steve. I mean, I don't, like I said, I don't think music like from these pop artists will withstand the test of time. Mm-hmm. I don't think anyone's going to be listening to Justin Bieber in 20 years and being like, oh, remember the good old days? Right. You know? <laughs> There's something that's going to happen. I, seriously, i got to tell you something. that <clears throat> There are some people like Loudon Wainwright, he's a folk singer. Yeah. I've been listening to him since the 70s. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, it, and he really, his songs are very personal. Mm-hmm. And it's like we're aging together. It's right. like we're on this parallel path. Yeah. So as he brings out a new record and he's talking about new things in his life, it's really kind of it's a nice thing to have listened to someone that long. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And you still know what feel I think they're relevant. Like, that's yeah. cool. What I think is pretty telling uh-huh. is uh, you know, like there's there's sixties radio stations, there's seventies radio stations, uh-huh. there's eighties radio stations, <laughs> there's nineties radio stations, nothing in two thousands. You would well, never ever see like a oh, two thousands radio station. Like the nineties radio stations popped up literally when the millennium changed. Yeah. Like, uh-huh. But I, I don't think that'll ever happen. Like it's just because like that music is not memorable. It's an interesting. It's an interesting uh, uh, observation. I mean, cause, like if you look in iTunes, you don't ever see like a two thousands. Like, no, the right. aughts, right? Yeah, and we know how you love that nomenclature. <laughs> and there's no aughts. There's yeah. no like and there's the playing the classics from the seventies, eighties, nineties, and you know everything that came <laughs> after that. <laughs> That's sort of the situation, yeah. now, right? You know. Well, it's two thousand twelve now. Like the music is. I would say music definitely has changed. Pop music, anyway, is, is still changed from, mm-hmm. you know, ni- uh, uh, 2009 to two th- uh, 2012. Mm-hmm. So, like, there's definitely a vibe 
change with the pop I think music, but it's still not good. Music is more fragmented. It gets more yeah. and more. <coughs> it's less of like a thing that's happening at a given time. There's yeah. a lot of different things. Absolutely. None of them are big enough, except for Adele, to gain any momentum. Uh, I agree. Chat room saying uh, Adelaide is a good example. Of Adele. Adele. Uh, sorry, Adele. The, yeah. the, the word, the, the I name that's. I, I always just mispronounce it every time. The name that Steve literally just said. Yeah. I <laughs> what you mean, right? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> but it's okay. At least you didn't say grunge again. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Adele is very good. Didn't she? Uh, she just got like uh, surgery on her throat too. Yeah, right? really? That's yeah, oh, I think some singers have like no- yeah, they, voice they, nodule yeah. Uh, yeah. issues and stuff like that. Spring, she happens to be very to good. Corn. Yeah. Corn? corn? No, corn is not corn. corn. No, yeah, corn is not popular corn. now. No, uh, no, it the, never was. Be popular in never years. was. I don't know why the chat room's be- beast mouth. I'm actually getting kind of depressed right now. I remember after when Michael Jackson died, I was talking to my mom about her uh, history with him, and she was saying that they grew up together, mm-hmm. and it was really nice to see him progress from you know yeah, like being a Jackson really? Five Who? to solo stuff because oh. they were around the yeah. same age. Right, right, right. Um, I can't think of an artist that I grew up with like that. You know, uh, that where, where Avril Lavigne, you know, right? <laughs> I'm <laughs> talking seriously like, right now. Like, um, let's think of one. Well, yeah. This is going to sound stupid. I mean, like, Sting. Which, you know, I grew up listening to some of the police. Yeah. And then he did his own thing, and then he's, like, back with them now. Oh, my. That's a terrible... <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the best I've got. Sting. Yeah. But I do... I mean, the police is awesome. The yeah. police are awesome. I love the uh, Have you guys heard that band, The Magnetic Fields? Yeah, I like that. So, yeah. Magnetic Fields is Steve coming Marriott. out with another album right uh-huh. now, and that's a band that I grew up with loving oh, in middle school really and high like school. Him. I just don't know if they're going to be lasting long enough to... But I think he will. Stephen yeah. Merritt? Right, right, right. I think he... I think he or Stephen up, Malkmus uh, um, with yeah. Pavement. Okay. That, that's a possibility. Sonic Youth. Because it's hard with bands. Because bands come and break up. Sure, sure. Individual artists. Look at that. Okay. Bob Dylan can't break up. Look like Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah, they've been for thirty years now. Uh-huh. You know, they've been doing it. That's an exception. You know, like they're an so exception. You, you know, bands like uh, even uh, even Bad Religions, thirty years old now. Right, they still Youth making music. Up. Sonic Youth broke up. Oh, Sonic man. Youth broke. R. They're R. still R. playing shows up. though. REM's done. Never yeah. was never a big fan of REM. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like Justin said, Green Day. Green Day's been a band now for well over twenty years. Okay, right. so maybe some of those guys will. I think Green Day has for that your, for your. I life. think they're slowly becoming like a, a who sort Batesman. of. Situation, right. you know, mm-hmm. like the Who, uh-huh. their Broadway show, their sort of like rock opera sort of thing. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I think that's what they're f- where, where they're falling in. Uh-huh. Yeah, so that's There's a few. Yeah, <clears throat> Pearl Jam's been a band for a while now. There you go. Justin yeah. hates that. They suck. I don't really like Pearl Jam. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be Pearl the first. To I like it. like three songs of theirs. Not really. a big Pearl Jam fan. Yeah. You know. I'm what about you? You don't like Pearl Jam? Yeah. yeah. You don't think the kid? Twenty. Years. You think the guy can sing? That's like that's ultimately the question. Do you like that's the? the yeah. I don't like yeah. his voice. Yeah. yeah, Eddie Vedder just doesn't. I uh, don't really do it for me. Um, you know, Chatroom brings up a good point. A lot of hip hop artists are also reinventing themselves. Like Jay Z, I grew up with. Mm. Common, they say in the chat. Well, room. how long has Jay Z been doing it? He's been around since like the early nineties. Yeah. Okay, I did so, not know that. Um, he's yeah, retired definitely. like four times and come out. So right, like every time he comes with back, each yeah. album, he's been progressing. So yeah. I, that's someone I follow. And, and he, all you're the right. individual members of Wu Tang have their own albums now. They're um, uh, and going back to Jay Z, like he has adjusted his sound like every time he comes out. Yeah. Actually, you Absolutely. know what? The, I, I can't face. believe we forgot about this. Madonna is still around. Madonna. Like, <laughs> well, yeah. Madonna, yeah. Madonna, yeah. Is still Madonna good, 2.0, right? Like yeah. 6.0 now. Like, I, like, I don't know <laughs> what the hell's going yeah. on with her, with her new stuff. But is anyway. she a musician? I mean, is she an artist or is she I, just a celebrity? I think mm-hmm. she's just a great there. Question. She's just there. <laughs> and we have to love it or hate it. She's just there. Like the Rocky Mountains. Yeah. I'm not, we're not going to take a break right. today because we're, we're we only have a little thing. Let's get into uh, some calls from the public. Time to show the love. Go, man. 866-404-CNET. 404-CNET. <laughs> found out the hard way that we could probably talk about music for 14 hours. Absolutely. We're not going to do that, though. <laughs> Instead, we got a call for Steve. Uh-oh. Uh, let's, let, this is, we're going to laugh a little at this. Hey, guys. What's up? This is uh, Des Moines from Shannon. Uh, just had a quick question for uh, the gut man since he was going to be on today. I'm at your uh, Or any of you guys if you have any ideas. Um, I'm looking for a pretty hard-to-find uh, CD from one of my favorite bands. Um, mm. It's one of their early CDs. Okay. I've seen it come up on eBay occasionally, but I'm pretty sure those are bootlegs and not the actual CD. It was a pretty limited run. Yeah. Um, my local record shop here in Des Moines, um, they recommended Discogs.com. Mm. I haven't had a whole lot of luck there, so I just wanted to see uh, if you guys had any other ideas of any places to look online um, for hard to find yeah, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Um, thanks a lot. It was a show. Dude, what's the name? Yeah, what's the name of it? Something embarrassing. <laughs> no. Definitely something embarrassing. Call back and let us know. Yeah. Might Call back and let us know. I mean, I know he's probably just fishing for uh, a resource. Especially if you're well, looking for a CD that might be a little bit 
harder to you track down. I feel any. like yeah, you can yeah, maybe Amazon. get a record for but, it. But you know, but the thing is, a great place on uh, St. Mark's Place in the city called the Rocket Scientist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as in music isn't rocket science. Right. And that the guy that owns that shop knows everything. All right, he so he should fly to New York. Call, yeah. call him up. Call him up. Oh. Yeah. I would also recommend going on message boards online. It's not around anymore, but there used to be this site called Viva La Vinyl. Yes. Mm. Um, and it was a record trading site. And yes. Bands would just go online. Mm. That was more of like a punk resource, but mm. I'm sure there are other message boards online and, for that particular genre. And a lot of people do this too, are uh, getting rid of like you know all the media is going digital. Yeah. Um, Check eBay. Like, seriously, like a lot of people well, just that's what he said. Whole... That's what he said. He oh, said he found a lot of uh, counterfeit ones. Counterfeit? Oh, yeah, okay. bootleg ones. Because a lot of people will put up like books. I know that you can mm-hmm. buy like, uh, you know, people are dumping uh, their books, 500 their books records, for like 20 bucks. Their yeah. VHS tapes. Yeah. Respect yeah. to this guy for actually trying to track down a physical copy. No, I respect the hell out of that. Online. He's um, going to buy music. But yeah. now I'm, I'm curious. Shocked. I want to know what it he's, is. He's part of the 1%. It sounds like chat room's recommending Discogs. He did mention that. I've never used that resource. I'm going to check that out, though. Chat room thinks it's Kenny G. It's not Kenny G. <laughs> like his stuff would be hard to track down. No, He's around on. still. Just call yeah, me up. Like that. Katy in a Katy Perry, Perry video. video. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe Kenny G is the answer to that question. Yeah. That's G why he didn't answer. say who he was. Yeah. Yeah. No one is. Kenny G has never been the answer to anything <laughs> except what are we gonna play in this dentist office? <laughs> what is the worst? Yeah, that's the only answer. Maybe that's why they played it. It's so the drilling sounds good. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather by even comparison, drilling. by comparison, you mean? Yeah. Uh, here's someone talking about more the drilling. V- more <laughs> drilling, please. I prefer drilling. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the PlayStation Vita is coming out the 22nd. Here is someone talking about uh, lack of commercials. Hey guys, this is South Dakota from Jason. Hey, I was just wondering if Sony's forgotten about the upcoming PS Vita launch because besides a Taco Bell ad, I am seeing absolutely no marketing on it, mm. um, and not even a Super Bowl ad, which blew my mind. So just wondering what you guys' thoughts are about the launch and what to expect, because I'm, I'm seeing nothing. And mm-hmm. then also, thanks to Justin for the recommendation on the Porter Pros. I just ordered my new headphones. Thanks. Yes. All right. Nice yes. job. Porter Pro just came out, or Cost just came out with the Porter Pro KTCs. That's mm-hmm. the updated version that has a microphone on the All right. Oh, that's cool. Wire, but look, we're, uh, Steve's yes. wearing them I'm right now. Wearing so right now. Look at him rocking them out. Model you them. These are retro. You can barely even see them on you. They're great. They're light and comfy. <laughs> they look great on you, buddy. They sound just like I'm not wearing headphones. I feel like I'm just hearing you without any headphones. <laughs> you oh, I am. Here. That's oh. <laughs> Uh, so he's talking about the Vita. So, Steve, it's a new uh, portable gaming system from oh, Sony. Yeah, and everyone's like, thing. I know, it's right up your alley. Everyone's. I was a little surprised n- that they didn't have a Super Bowl ad. Mm-hmm. They missed the U.S. holiday release mm-hmm. uh, time window. Mm-hmm. They didn't come out with anything over Super Maybe Bowl. Maybe they forgot. The guy suggested they may have forgot. I'm pretty sure that company didn't just forget about it. You know, they got a lot going on. They do have a lot it's going like, on. You know, well, the Amazing the Spider-Man's coming out. I know it it's a big deal. between the cushions. Yeah, like yeah. loose change. Like loose change. Well, I, the, the CEO, uh, the new CEO of uh, Sony, you know, saying like everything's on the chopping board. And, you know, oh, a lot right. of people have been, you know, harping on the Vita. Mm. I'm pretty sure it's still going to come out. But oh, it's I, definitely going to come out, Wilson. Yeah, I mean, it's going to come out, but whether it has a long life, that's time, another that's, story. That's yeah. up in the air. It's going to get a good review. I'm telling you that right now. I know it's an uh, embargo till Monday, but you know, you I'm know what loving could save it. Sony? What's that? Bring back the Trinitron. Ooh. Ooh. You got it here yourself. Wait, the the brand it. or Do just you, the, no, actual, no, the, the actual actual the brand. Big TVs. Yeah. yeah. You good. remember that? No, I, I had one. I, I had one growing up in my uh, in my house. Yeah. They, there like, was nobody else. There was no number 2. I remember they owned the TV. That yeah. was it. That you was had, it. And it was that logo the with the blue, green, no. and red, right? Yeah. The logo on it. Yeah, and they I weighed remember like 200 to, pounds. It was <laughs> terrible. <laughs> they always had that silver grill on the side. And I would throw golf balls at it and <laughs> dent it up real nice. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Hell I, mean, yeah. I, I feel like Sony's biggest problem is like you walk into a store, you see the Bravia TV right next to the Samsung TV. You wonder why the Bravia costs $300 more when it looks exactly the same as the Samsung TV. Mm. That's just fundamentally it. Samsung makes it's got like a nice silver bezel or something like that. But Yeah. That's it. The, the playing the game of uh, of of you know pricing things higher than they should be right might not be around forever. What's up, Justin? Really quick. Um, so Shannon in the chat room was the one who called about the uh, CD that he's oh, looking okay. for, and he okay. said that the album is by something corporate. Oh, Ready I know something Brick. corporate. That is not a difficult yeah, album yeah. to find. Not at Just all. call up the record label. I'm sure they'll send you one. It's still in print. It's not like it's a rare it, so, issue. The coincidence here is remarkable. I, I was at a something really rare. I was at a wedding last mm-hmm. week, and uh, something corporate. Said, they're uh, these. They're like a piano rock band. Uh-huh. They're pretty good. I uh, met someone who uh, works with them uh-huh. two weeks ago at a wedding. 
So I'm gonna get in touch with this person. Yeah, no, we help you go out. on Amazon and get it, dude. It's, fu- it's so amazing. And she, the the girl that knows the band got the groom, got the what bride and groom a signed poster <laughs> right. of something corporate, hmm. which was you very know, ironic. It's yeah. because we're in the cube. Yeah, mm. it's the cube, man. It's, it's all the, the cube. cube. It's, it's, it's in hey, the out of curiosity, what was the last time any of you guys actually stepped inside of like a real record store, like a music store? <laughs> Me? Uh, all the a time. Like a store? Sam Goody well, or like him a, yesterday for yeah, sure. Jay and I. Not you. Um, Gen- there's a bunch of them on St. Mark's next to my house that I go. I used to go to Generation know, Records a lot yeah. down on. Um, oh yeah. Where the hell is yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. In like the West Village. Bleecker was yeah. around there. Yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. a place out in Fords, New Jersey, called Vintage Vinyl. There's a lot of record stores in New York City. So you ever hear of Vintage Vinyl in Jersey? No, but I go to Princeton Record Exchange. Okay. Gimme 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 is good store. too. I like Gimme Gimme in the yeah. East Village. There's yeah. a lot of them. Also, there are. In I think New York. I just thought of a few more bands so that I think That's the thing, will be. like in New York, like that. My, I'm wondering, like uh, Middle America, it's hard. Like, whether oh. there's actually yeah. any of them left. I don't know. Probably well, not. Well, you know when you find out. Besides, like a Best Buy. You know when you right. find out about all those record stores on Record Store Day. Yeah, that's April, right. Because they just come out of the woodwork and they're all over the internet. And yep. Because if you go to those record mm-hmm. stores, you buy stuff. They have special record store day things. That I'm psyched about that day because that's the day that Mastodon and Feist are covering each other's songs. Yeah, mm. that'll be awesome. Oh. That's going to be real. That Feist girl. might be around. Feist? I can imagine maybe, Feist being around. Maybe. Yeah, for sure. She's still making What were the other bands you were saying? I was going to say, like, I think like the older folk rock bands, mm-hmm. like, uh, I don't know, maybe not folk, but like Yola Tango, for mm-hmm. example, okay. would definitely be around. Rock? No, yeah, I was going to say, just, maybe just regular rock. You Built think Spill is definitely going to be around yeah. there making music still? Yeah, sure. Like those maybe like a Radiohead sort of thing, too. Radiohead for sure. Yeah. Wilco? A lot of love, a lot of bands, but they'll be around. On record store. Yeah. Yeah, it'll just be interesting. time to think about it. All right, cool. Speaking of retro, yeah. I wanted to do one little other plug. So sure. I did a blog about this guy, uh, Dominic uh, Odbert. He makes uh, old suitcases into boom boxes. <laughs> That's mm. cool. And he's, these things are called boom cases. And he only he prefers to do with really old suitcases from the 30s and 40s because they're made out of wood. Okay. Right. New. Yeah. And he so every one is like he has to make them one at a time <clears> and design basically. Fine speakers that'll fit in this case. They look right. awesome. They oh, look wow. really cool. They're entirely handmade. Very cool. So if you're listening, it's a amazing, very unique design, like almost like wood. Is that real wood? Or is that it's like real folk? wood? Yeah. Oh, wow. Some of them are covered I with wish, leather. I was gonna say, I wish they had like the old, uh, you know, stamps, like the passport stamps. <laughs> you know where they've been, yeah. where that's been. I, that, I love that cool. whole DIY aspect. I blogged about a similar thing where it was a seller on Etsy, uh-huh. that like handmade marketplace uh-huh. online. It was a, a seller who would take old radios from the 30s and uh-huh. convert them into uh-huh. stereos with a 3.5. You could just plug oh, nice. into any audio source. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's really cool. I like I like seeing stuff like this rather than new brands trying to make it look like yeah. old stuff. I appreciate that. But this better. guy actually builds each one. It's amazing. And each one is unique. It's mm-hmm. not like, he, oh, I like of, that one. A lot know. of money, no, right? Sorry, that's, they start at $300. Okay, that's not awful. But you're the only one that would have one. That's <laughs> true. Every, each piece is unique. Yeah, make sure you read Steve's it. blog on CNET, the Audiophiliac. And... Follow me on Twitter. Yes, where can we do that? Audiophiliac Man. There you go. We'll link to that in the show notes today. That's at the404.cnet.com. Cool. If you want to call us up, 866-404-CNET. And our email address is the404 at cnet.com. Big thanks to Steve Thank Sphere, you. the gut man, Guttenberg. In Always a cu- pleasure. The sphere in the cube. The sphere <laughs> in the cube. <laughs> I love it. The communist. Uh, the communist, <laughs> the communist sphere. It's a commie cube. We'll see you guys on Monday. Have an awesome weekend. I'm Jeff Bacalar. I'm Wilson Tang. And I'm Justin Yu. It's the 404. High tech, low brow. Thanks again to Steve. We'll see you guys soon. Later.